Hello everyone, this is Saurav Day. Welcome to my YouTube channel GIS for the beginners. Uh, I want you to know that this channel is made for uh, the purpose of explaining the basics of uh, the process of QGIS and GrassGIS software. Both of these are open source softwares developed by OSGEO. My first video is about setting coordinate reference system in QGIS as well as GrassGIS. I would also like you to know that there is a PDF link for the basics of uh, QGI uh, for the basics of coordinate reference system given below. So let's start with QGIS. First of all, you need to open QGIS. You need to go to project, and you need to click on project properties. The project property windows opens in which there are different tabs: general tab. CRS tab, identify layers tab, default styles tab, OWS server, macros relations. You need to go to CRS tab and you need to ensure that this uh, checkbox is ticked that is enable on the fly CRS transformation. This will enable the filter search in, uh, the filter search. Then there is a window recently used coordinate reference system and the coordinate reference systems of the world. First of all, you need to search for a coordinate reference system. For example, I, I am searching for WGS84. I need to type WGS84. Sorry, WGS space 84. And here it shows the W uh, the coordinate reference systems with WGS84. So in QGIS, you can simultaneously select or the coordinate reference system as well as the projection system uh, you can see this this is the coordinate reference system WGS84 and the projection system is UTM Universal Transverse Mercator so I'll search for the zone yeah here it is my zone is UTM zone number 43N where 43 is the number zone number and N is for northern hemisphere and this here EPSG32643 this thing here it is uh, it is the EPSG ID European Petroleum Survey Group ID number there is a unique ID number for each CRS and projection system combination so just click on this zone uh, the zone and then click apply and click OK so the coordinates uh, coordinate reference system as well as the projection system is applied for your current project you have set the CRS as well as projection, uh, CRS as well as the projection system for the current project in QGIS. Now let's move to GrassGIS. In GrassGIS, you need to first of all select the GIS data directory. Click on Browse. Go to the directory where you need to select where you need to keep your data sets. Define the location. GIS, I'll select the GIS for beginners. Click OK. Now I need to create a new location. So click here, define new location. Click on the location wizard. You need to check whether the GIS data directory is correct as previously entered. Now you need to give a location. I'll give the location as Pune. Pune is a place in Maharashtra. Click on next. Now you have different options for selecting your CRS and uh, projection system. So there are different options such as create, uh, select coordinate ref uh, system parameters from a list, select EPSG code for spatial reference system. In case you are knowing the EPSG code, then you can directly select the EPSG code from, uh, you can directly give the EPSG code and define your location. Firstly, we'll go for select coordinate reference system from a list. Click next. Your project, uh, our projection code is Universal Transverse Mercator, that is UTM. You'll, first of all, we'll search for it. Yeah, here it is, UTM. You'll see that projection code is UTM. Click on Next. Then I need to define my zone. Uh, I'll also explain how to find your zone. So as of now, I know my zone is 43, 43N. Uh, so N starts for Northern Hemisphere, so we will check this Southern Hemisphere as no. In case you have 43S or anything, any number with S, so means it is in Southern Hemisphere, so you need to check this as yes. But 
as of now it is 43n so i'll click check it as no and then click next i'll search for datum code Day my datum is wgs84 i'll click on enter this will search for wg 84 yes here it is click next this message will uh, will be uh, displayed that is used in whole wgs region 84 click on ok and click finish yeah this will ask for do you want to set, set the default region extents and resolutions now click on no create new website click on cancel you will see that the your location project location is set as Pune now we'll go for another way to define our location just click on location wizard as earlier click on uh, you need to give a project location Pune 1 I'll give it Pune 1 as I had defined Pune earlier Pune 1 click on next and here it is select EPSG code of spatial reference system and click next now where we will get for this EPSG code from you need to go to this website EPSG registry dot org this is how the website looks like you need to give the type that is coordinate reference system projected CRS and you can select any one of the uh, ways to input your region that is bounding box point or polygon selecting your region I'll select using a point I'll go to show map the map will be displayed you need to search for your location here it is click on this add a marker add the marker to the your location and then close this will automatically load the latitude and longitude coordinates here click on search this will show the CRS uh, and uh, the projection system current uh, available for the location Pune I am searching for WGS 84 with UTM zone yeah here it is oh no sorry this is WGS 72 I need to go for WGS 84 with the UTM zone yeah this is WGS 84 UTM zone number 43 N and this is the EPSG ID EPSG 32643 32643 is the num EPSG ID you need to go to grass uh, type three two six four three click enter here it is when you search for an EPSG ID this gives both the CRS as well as the projection system in uh, simultaneously you can select both simultaneously click next and yes your datum transformation has been done WGS 84 region okay click finish this reduces the number of steps you need to uh, perform for defining your location do you want to send your default region extents and resolution now click on no click on cancel and yes Pune is defined here that is how you will define your coordinate reference system as well as projection system in QGIS as well as GrassGIS that's all for this video if you have any doubts you can comment it in your in the comment section and please do subscribe to this channel and like my video if you do thank you